Congratulations, by the way, big accomplishment. Um, I, okay, my question is, I noticed a, a lot of you are, um, have been in the programs or um, have transitioned from being students to being teachers. I want to kind of know how are you balancing that other life, or well, not the other life, but transition from being a student and having a full-time priority of writing to balancing your other responsibilities, whether it's teaching or other obligations, like being a parent. <laughs> and um, what other accomplishments do you feel or priorities in your writing have you um, kind of gathered from your MFA experience? That's a great question. Um, well, I actually feel like because of the sort of aforementioned tendency to, you know, not not do a lot of work and kind of feel an ordinary student about it, I'm actually a lot better suited to be kind of teaching where we used to be um, English part time. I think I think that for me, I'm one of those people who um, like task and family to fill whatever time I have available. So in a way, like infringing on that with teaching is actually good. But I think for a lot of people, I think, um, a lot of people don't need. You know, much more sort of focus or sort of getting things done. But for me, I think it's something that hinges on me a little bit. It's actually really, really helpful. Because you have deadlines from structure? Yeah, so I, I read a lot and I write a lot, but I think that I try to make sure that there are other things in my life that I'm doing, interested in, that are beyond the laws of literature. You know what I mean? When you do an MFA for like two years and then I'm sick or whatever for another two years, all of a sudden, like, all of your friends, like, the world straight and you become all about writing on time. You need to, like, kind of refresh and have, you yeah, know, just, like, other interests and exciting other things in your life. Civilians. Yeah, civilians. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I think that question can also be taken from the other side, which is that someone needs to make a living, and sometimes, you know, you write a novel or something every decade, and um, you get paid for it, okay, but what happens? Like, in between, what happens? Decade, like, you know, the and your children and stuff like that. So, um, does anyone here have that issue or, like, where you'll do something that interferes with your writing? Or, like, you have that 
able to kind of get to blame them. It's, you know. No, but maybe just because they're not very good at job. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's all, I'm always afraid of the mistress. You know, like, with the gender and Justin, it's always the same, same struggles. And anybody else have some questions? Here? Oh, here and then there. Okay, so. Okay. Hi everyone, congratulations, my name is Nicole. A couple of you talked about wanting to write books that you like to read. So what do you write, like to read? And what are the books that got you to become writers? Okay, no one does. Thank you. 